So the fact that we're staying in the old death row is an incredible experience. Walking into the B tier to cell three was a very sobering thought to think of the men who occupied that space before me. We're at Louisiana State Penitentiary, better known as Angola, and uh, it's a maximum security prison, the largest one in the nation. And the inmates here all are going to probably die here, 95% of them, because that's the kind of sentences they have. And uh, most of them put somebody in the grave. My name is Ron Olivier, and when I when I first came here, I was 18 years old. Actually, I've been incarcerated since I was 16 years old. It was it was a feeling of, of hopelessness. You know, uh, here it is. I, I was sentenced here with a life sentence, and life in Louisiana means life. You know, and I couldn't. My mind couldn't grasp that. Man, I was sentenced here to die here. That this was it. You know, and so hopelessness was all around me. I didn't really know what to expect. The worship has been incredible. And, and not that I didn't think this would be a worshipful place, but I guess the, the level of the worship, the way that the men worship, um, the, the freeness of these men, they're incarcerated, but their hearts are free. It's, it's an incredible thing. And to be able to worship with them um, just is unbelievable. unbelievable. I am a, a inmate here at uh, Louisiana State Penitentiary, and I've been here for 34 years. When, when uh, people come in for their first time, you know, visitors, you know, uh, uh, free people from the street, I, I'm sure that uh, they're apprehensive, not knowing, you know, what to expect. But then once they, once they get in here and, 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 you know, they're allowed to be right in the midst of us. And, uh, uh, man, it's like, uh, well, I didn't, I didn't have no idea it would be like this, but, man, this is freedom. And, uh, you know, then we all just get together, everybody relaxes, and then we just start lifting up the name of Jesus. And, and you know, it's, it's, uh, you know, it's just kind of like being on the street, going to church. You know, it's just, it's wonderful. I loved going to dinner, and you're sitting there sharing a meal with them, and they're sharing their stories with you, and you're listening, and they're eager to tell their story, and they're eager to hear your story, and, and, and we're both sitting together, sharing that meal, and that's just an incredible experience. Seek ye first, and go to seek ye first. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. You're looking for things, but you need to be looking for the creator of the things. It was a year that King Uzziah died yes, sir. Yes, sir. that I saw the Lord yes, sir. and I saw him high yes, sir. and he was lifted up yes, in his train on, it filled the temple in other words then God said you need an amen you need to consume it with your presence that amen glory to God that it ain't nothing left left there his train filled the temple what is it in your life that's competing with the train of God it's amazing. These are men who know that, that they are sentenced to life, but they love and worship the Lord. To be there with these men, there's no words. It's something that you have to feel and experience. You have to be there. Yeah, just transformational. Just absolutely transformational. Um, the guys that I came with, you know, to, to a man, all of us have been touched. Again, another thing that we don't typically do in, the, in our churches, right? I mean, I, I can't think of the last time we had an altar call where people, men, were kneeling in front of the altar uh, praying to God. And so <clears throat> that was that was a really special thing. Come on, you have you have authority over your family. You're the biggest voice in your house. Amen. If you stand with me, and we're gonna come. Come on, we gotta fill this altar. We're going to pray for our family. Hallelujah. Come on, every man down. Glory to you.
Yeah, and we also say man down is a man down on his knees too, praying to God for deliverance. It's a very spiritual weekend. It's a very profound weekend that really, really brings you back to God. So to guys that are like kind of on the fence and you don't know what this turn thing's about, I urge you to just come on. Just come on and bring somebody with you and just come and see what the Lord has in store for you and how he can show you how to be set free. And I, I pray to God that, that I can be as free, as free, as truly free as these men that I've spent the last 48 hours.